and I tried them on and just loved them. And <laughs> my husband hates them. He is like, why can't you just buy a plain shoe? Welcome back to my channel. Um, firstly, I'm sorry if you can hear building noise or car noise or anything outside. There are builders here and it is quite noisy, but I've tried to find a quiet space um, to film this, I suppose, luxury haul unboxing, um, triple Gucci unboxing, doer unboxing thrown in the middle. Um, these are a culmination of birthday presents. It was my birthday in the summer. Um, some of these were birthday presents and some were things that I've had on my list that I wanted to purchase for, me for myself for a while and I got some money for my birthday so this is how um, this came about and I wanted to put it to use rather than wasting it away. So we're going to get into the unboxing but before we do that if you're new, if you haven't yet, please do hit the subscribe button if you enjoy this type of content. I film luxury unboxings, vlogs, collections, reviews, that sort of thing. If you enjoy that please do consider it and if you enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and if you have anything to say to me or any suggestions just leave them in the comment box and I will check them out. So okay, I'm going to start with Gucci. Now the Gucci I have opened um, because whenever I was gifted them I obviously opened them or when they arrived I opened them to check them um, because I knew it would be a while before I would be able to film this so I haven't attempted to put the lovely um, ribbon or anything back on just because I know that I would make an absolute meal out of it so I just have them in the box I don't actually know which Gucci box is going to be which obviously I know what's in the Dior one um, so we'll just get into them and I don't know which one we're going to be we're going to be pulling out at a time so first one little Gucci um, unboxing in the lovely black and white box I do quite like the Gucci I, I think I like the way just that it's quite clean and minimalist on the unboxing not that anything else about my collection is minimalist but there you go so if we open these up and let you see what is inside of the first one oh I think I know I do know from the feel of this in here so in the dust bag we have the Gucci Princeton loafers in the black with I know I know they're not understated at all but sure um we have the black uh Princeton loafer with the gold star and B embroidery on it now these were not on my radar at all I laugh at it myself because they're so non classics or non simple which is what I meant to be trying to build but we had been um in Dublin shopping myself and my best friend and I had wanted to try the Princeton loafers on but I hadn't been thinking about those and Dublin at the time didn't have very many sizes in them that's both of them together they didn't have very many sizes but they had a size to try on in this that wasn't my actual size but was close enough and I tried them on and just loved them and <laughs> my husband hates them he is like why can't you just buy a plain shoe or a plain bag but I think they're fab um, I know that they won't be everybody's cup of tea and I know that most people would probably have went for the plain black and would probably get a lot more wear out of the plain black but I love them I just thought yeah I think they're fab I can picture what I will be wearing them with um, and I, <laughs> I just thought they were great um, Gucci size and strange if anybody's interested in Gucci shoes or Gucci sizing in the Gucci Marmont shoes which I've just stopped there to pull one out which is these um, Gucci loafers I take my normal size would be somewhere around a 38 which is a UK 5 in these Gucci ones I need to take a 37 and a half because they're just the 38 is just way too big in these new ones that we have just unboxed these Princeton loafers I had to go to a 38 and a half um, I generally never ever have to go above a 38 I would be between a 37 and a half so it's the first year I've ever had the size up so I would just say that if you are considering these um, I would go up say a half size in them because the sizing just seems to be very small so those are the first pair the very classic understated um, little black slip-ons which I just love I just love they have obviously the little 
buckle which I've watched enough videos to be warned that it's gonna make noise when you walk they have the heart on here and they're just the basic um not basic not basic at all but you know what I mean they're just the plain shoe then on the bottom and um, these are a pair of shoes that I blame Minks for all for these are one of the shoes if you ever watch the videos that say did you buy anything just because of social media and the Princeton loafers are definitely them I did not like them at all Um, I used to watch Minx's channel I still watch it she's one of my favorite youtubers but in the background she always has her here down beside her she has her Princeton loafers on display and they used to catch my eye in the background and I would be thinking no no I really don't see the thing about them and then I got obsessed so anyway moving on to unboxing number two so I'll just move those into the background we have another Gucci bag I, I don't know what it is with Gucci at the minute these aren't handbags I'm sure you can tell that from the shape of the bags um not their handbags as I say but they're they're other their shoes and their some of their clothing and their jewelry I'm just loving it at the minute um so we have unboxing number two and again I don't know which one is in here so let's get it out and show you well it still has all of the nice um paperwork they are all there obviously um we don't need to go into them i think we've all seen enough of them and then oh i know what kind of one this is again gucci shoes i did tell you at one stage that shoes were my first love shoes came before handbags for me and unboxing and revealing we have the Gucci Ace Trainers and I know everybody has them and they're everywhere but I just love them and I really really wanted a pair I have wanted a pair of these for some time so my husband actually bought me these for my birthday and I'm just I'm delighted to have them there's been so many things that I have put on especially if you've watched my online shopping videos you'll know I'm on a weight loss journey and you know trying to rebuild my wardrobe blah 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 um and there's so many things that i've went to put on that i've thought these would be perfect with i've just thought to myself oh if i had those gucci as trainers obviously none of the other trainers in my wardrobe would do the job it has to be the gucci ace ones yeah right but anyway so um i just loved them i thought they were class i love this um the red and green on the back again not overly understated because of that and the b now there's obviously some of these that have a lot of the other embroidery like the hearts and the the arrow and some of them are stunning but i thought for what i want to wear them with and the outfits that i kind of envisage wearing them that the planer type just the classic kind of gucci ace with the b i thought would be perfect so that is unboxing number two from this little um haul i wouldn't call this a mini haul for me it's quite a big haul um so i i just love them i thought that they were class and i know i know that they're everywhere and everybody's wearing them blah 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 but i just thought they were fab um these i had to go to as i was saying normal sizes of 38 those gucci princeton loafers are a 38 and a half the gucci marmont loafers i just showed you are a 37 and a half and these Gucci Ace trainers are 37. So they're a full size down. And that, like, that's the same brand. There's a size and a half. I've had to go 37 to 38 and a half. So there's a full size and a half between those two, which is quite a big difference. So just bear that in mind if you are um, buying Gucci shoes. The Princeton loafers for me were the exception. Any of the Gucci shoes that I have, I have always found to be big fitting as opposed to small fitting okay so the last gucci box if we get in here and surprise surprise it's a shoe box are you shocked <laughs> i know but sure anyway so <laughs> if we get in here and these were okay all right i'm i, I know what you're going to say before but anyway so <laughs> unboxing and revealing to you in here <laughs> laughing before you see it it are the gucci princeton loafers in white <laughs> i know who needs to buy two of them but but i was gonna say in my defense but i don't have one uh, so <laughs> i ordered both of these i took a notion as i say watching these on social media instagram 
I saw them worn so many ways and there were so many outfits that I kind of started to think that these would be perfect for that if I had them I knew how I would wear them and I didn't have anything in my collection that could kind of fill that void so I had ordered both of them I haven't even worn these lit and look there is can you see that and that is just from trying them on because I haven't looked they're brand new I haven't worn these yet and there's a little mark on there already. I suppose with white, what do you expect? But I'm gonna have to maybe be a bit more careful. Um, so I had ordered the black and gold, understated shoes, and the white, and it was meant to be to pick between them. And that didn't happen. Um, I, I got them and obviously they're the same shoe, but they're such different colors. What I was pairing these with and trying and playing about with outfits, it wasn't what I was, pairing these with this was obviously more summery and with different types of things now I appreciate as well that it's September and we're now coming out of the summer so they're probably not going to really get very much wear but I just when I put them on and tried them with so certain things they were great they were perfect and I can just see in the summer so many outfits that they will be worn with now they obviously are the same shoe as them so they're a 38 and a half as well which um Again, just, I think it must be the Princeton loafer in general. Obviously, I've tried that one on because look at that already. Anyway, um, because the Princeton loafer in general then just must be small fitting. Um, okay, so that's the Gucci haul finished, which um, was all shoes. So sorry that there's no handbags if that's what you were waiting for. And then I'm going to move on to this little Dior beauty now my um, best friend bought me this for my birthday and he is such a sweetheart and I was so I didn't know anything about it I was so shocked I didn't I know I now I know his thinking but I had no idea he had bought this or that he was getting anything of this sort of level um, but when he brought it he said about the star he's like I actually think I like the star on the bag even more than the present so that was his thoughts about it and the beautiful Dior packaging which we've talked about before on this channel so if I start or uh, stop even blabbering on and get into what's inside and I have opened this already just in the spirit of full disclosure um, obviously whenever he gifted to me I was dying to see what was in it so I have opened it but I do still love like even the box and everything I am loving the Dior packaging I think it's pretty stunning and what we have in here to reveal to you this is obviously not shoes for a change on this unboxing but in here we have oh it's a little dust bag I'm very excited about this actually really really love this and pulling out the little Dior oblique card holder. How cute is that? I have really wanted a Dior oblique um, piece, which he knew. I have been looking at the saddlebag and quite interested in the saddlebag, particularly with the guitar strap. And he obviously knows that. And he bought me this kind of as like as a taster to see what I thought of the Dior quality and the Dior print and the oblique print. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. I love, oh, can't get the button in. I love the little D hanging from it here. I love the shape of this because as I say, I have had the saddlebag on my mind. Um, it has a slip pocket at the back, which I think is great for slipping an easy access card into. I am loving the Dior oblique print. The only problem is now I would maybe quite love some more of it. Um, <laughs> shock. Uh, it has the navy leather trim on the bottom and on the sides. Just to expand it out, it has navy leather trim around the edges and then on the inside when we open it up with this beautiful trademark D, it has Christian Dior Paris on the back. And if we take out the little cards, um, which this one is just the Dior showing that it's authentic and everything. And it's called, anybody is interested, it is the Saddle Small Canvas. And there's the codes and it's the blue print. But in the inside we have the two card slips on the back. This is one bigger space here. I know it's very dark there on the camera. If I maybe just move the light a bit closer. Um, so there's one big space, there's two slip pockets on the back, then there's another card slot here 
on the front which is great and you can see that's navy fabric on the inside and then that just buttons closed like that I think that's so pretty I know already what I'm going to use it for and I just think it's so pretty so I was so surprised at that I had no idea that that was coming and that was another little birthday piece that came so I was definitely very spoilt very lucky girl um i know that i am very appreciative and feel very blessed i do not take any of this for granted and i have said that before i have also said before that because i do get questions about affording luxury and things like that that i am nearly 40. this is not something that has came early or came without work and a lot of work so I don't want anybody to have the misconception thinking you know like this just came very quickly and very easily this is I don't think I had any luxury pieces until my 30s and um, so I just I just want to put that out there that this is definitely not taken for granted so that is my little unboxing on veal I hope you have enjoyed all of my pieces I um, hope you don't judge me too badly for all of the Gucci shoe additions coming in. <laughs> I know my husband did. <laughs> um, and that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed the crack. Um, I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.